a beloved weatherman, a legendary filmmaker, a musical star, a genius of drama, and a one-of-a-kind comedian. These are the stories of the lives we lost in September 2021. Actor Art Metrano was best known for playing police boss Ernie Mauser in two of the Police Academy movies. He was also a stand-up comedian who was often seen on Johnny Carson's Tonight Show, performing his comic magic act. Metrano died September 8th of natural causes at the age of 84. Singer Sarah Dash was a founding member of the R&B funk group LaBelle, known for their 1974 smash hit, Lady Marmalade. Their danceable music was influential on the development of disco. Dash also had a solo career with hits including Sinner Man and Lucky Tonight. She died September 20th at the age of 76. Percussionist Roberto Rowena was a legend of salsa music. He performed with bands including El Gran Combo and Fania All-Stars. Known for his bongo skills, he was also a charismatic band leader who delighted audiences with his dancing. Rowena died September 23rd of a heart attack at the age of 81. NFL player David Patton won three Super Bowls with the New England Patriots in the early 2000s. He had the distinction of catching quarterback Tom Brady's first touchdown pass in the postseason. He also played for the Cleveland Browns, Washington Redskins, and New Orleans Saints. Patton died September 2nd after a motorcycle accident at the age of 47. NFL Hall of Famer Mick Tinglehoff was a center with the Minnesota Vikings in the 1960s and 70s. He went to four Super Bowls with the team. He was a six-time Pro Bowler whose number 53 was retired by the Vikings. Tinkeloff died September 11th of Parkinson's disease with dementia at the age of 81. Actor and screenwriter Ben Best co-created the HBO comedy series Eastbound and Down along with Danny McBride. He also starred as bartender Clegg. He co-wrote and starred in The Foot Fist Way and appeared in Superbad and other movies. Best died September 12th at the age of 46. Pro wrestler Daphne Unger was known as the Scream Queen when she competed in World Championship Wrestling and Total Nonstop Action Wrestling. Fans loved Unger's goth look, inspired by DC Comics character Harley Quinn and her piercing battle cry. Born Shannon Spruill, she died September 1st at the age of 46. Actor Al Harrington starred on Hawaii Five-0 as Detective Ben Kakua. He returned to the show's 21st century reboot in a recurring role. Harrington was a beloved entertainer at home in Waikiki. He died September 21st of a stroke at the age of 85. Actor Anthony A.J. Johnson was best known for an unforgettable role in the movie Friday, playing the petty thief Izel with hilariously quotable lines. He also appeared in movies including House Party and I Got the Hookup and on TV shows such as Martin. Johnson died September 6th at the age of 55. Actor Willie Garson starred in Sex and the City as the popular supporting character Stanford Blatch, one of Carrie Bradford's close friends. At the heart of it, it's just basically a human story about love about people loving each other, uh, whether it's friends, family, a lover, a, a husband, a date, you know, whatever. And it's just so everyone, whether they have it or are looking for it, uh, that, that speaks to everyone on the planet. He also had notable roles in TV shows including White Collar, Hawaii Five-0, and NYPD Blue. Garson died September 21st of pancreatic cancer at the age of 57. Reality TV star Greg Leakes was featured on Real Housewives of Atlanta as the husband of one of the show's stars, Nene Leakes. He connected with the show's fans as he shared his ongoing fight with colon cancer. Leakes died of the disease September 1st at the age of 66. 
Singer Sarah Harding was a member of Girls Aloud. The British girl group had hit songs in the UK, including The Promise and Sound of the Underground. Where the bass line jumps in a back street light, the beat goes around and round. It's the sound of the under, sound of the underground. Harding was also a model, actress, and reality TV star who won Celebrity Big Brother in 2017. She died September 5th of breast cancer at the age of 39. Actor Don Collier was best known for his roles in TV westerns. He played Deputy Will Foreman on Outlaws and Ranch Foreman Sam Butler on The High Chaparral. Collier also appeared in movies such as The War Wagon and Tombstone, and he played the gum fighter in commercials for Hubba Bubba Bubblegum. He died September 13th of lung cancer at the age of 92. Actor Michael Tylo was best known for playing Quint Chamberlain in the soap opera Guiding Light. He also appeared in The Young and the Restless and General Hospital. Outside of soaps, he played Zorro's nemesis for two seasons of the 1990s version of The Adventure Show. Tylo died September 28th at the age of 73. Filmmaker Melvin Van Peebles kickstarted a revolution in black filmmaking and independent cinema with his influential 1971 movie, Sweet Sweet Back's Badass Song. There was no independent filmmaking thing when he started, right, Pop? And, That's right. And to, to be here now with him in a film where I play him, and he got to see it and kick me in my badass if he didn't like it. It's unparalleled. Van Peebles inspired later filmmaking greats, including Spike Lee and John Singleton. He was also a novelist, playwright, composer, and recording artist. Van Peebles died September 21st at the age of 89. Actor Michael Constantine starred in My Big Fat Greek Wedding as Gus Portokalos, Tula's father. He made audiences smile with his love for Windex as a cure for any ailment. He also starred on TV in Room 222 in the 60s and 70s, playing Principal Seymour Kaufman. Constantine died August 31st of natural causes at the age of 94. His death was announced in September. Actor Michael K. Williams starred on The Wire as stick-up artist Omar Little. His performance was critically acclaimed and his character was a fan favorite. I made a decision very early on in my career that um, the two things I will go for when, I, when I'm asked to do a role is I will, I will look for the truth and I will tell that truth with as much compassion and empathy as I can. Williams also had notable roles on TV shows including Boardwalk Empire, Lovecraft Country, and When They See Us. He received several Emmy nominations. Williams died September 6th of an accidental overdose at the age of 54. Actor Tommy Kirk starred in the classic live-action Disney film Old Yeller. The story of a boy and his dog is beloved by generations. Kirk starred in other Disney films as well, including The Shaggy Dog, Swiss Family Robinson, and The Absent-Minded Professor. He was later named a Disney legend. Kirk died September 28th at the age of 79. Actor Tim Donnelly starred as firefighter Chet Kelly on the 1970s TV drama Emergency. He was also known for roles in Hawaii Five-0, Adam-12, and other TV shows, as well as movies. Donnelly died in September of complications from surgery at the age of 77. Actress Jane Powell starred in movie musicals during Hollywood's golden age. She was best known for her lead role in Seven Brides for Seven Brothers. Her other musicals included Royal Wedding, and she later had a recurring TV role on Growing Pains. Powell died September 16th at the age of 92. TV personality Willard Scott was the longtime weatherman on the Today Show. He kept it light with his humorous costumes and antics, and he delighted fans with his birthday greetings to people turning 100 or more. He was also the first actor to portray Ronald McDonald for McDonald's. Scott died September 4th after a brief illness at the age of 87. 
Comedian and actor Norm MacDonald was best known for his years on Saturday Night Live. He anchored Weekend Update, or as he called it, the fake news. MacDonald's impressions of celebrities, including Burt Reynolds, Bob Dole, and Quentin Tarantino, were a highlight of his time on SNL. He also starred in movies including Dirty Work and the sitcom Norm. He was beloved for his deadpan comedy, whether he was in a scripted role or doing stand-up. McDonald died September 14th of leukemia at the age of 61. You can read more about the lives of the people featured in this video on Legacy.com. You can also follow Legacy.com on Facebook and subscribe to our channel on YouTube to stay up to date on national news deaths.